Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert Shreena will be discussing about resolving the data errors. So let's get into the video. Next is about resolving the data errors. That how we will be able to resolve the data errors. So generally what happened when you import the data while importing the data into Power BI, we may encounter errors which are resulting from factors like Power BI imports from numerous data sources or each data source might have dozens and sometimes hundreds of different error messages or other components can cause errors like hard drives are there, uh, network software, software services are there and operating system is there and data can often not comply with any specific schema. These all are the areas where you may have some of the issues like that. So for example, you may also encounter the errors like we can call them the query timeout where hardware resources are being constrained by concurrent users using the same data then uh, could not find the data. So yes, Power BI expects to find data formatted as a table from Excel. We do have a uh, could not find file, could not find file. So they are caused by file moving locations or the permissions to the file changing. And then finally, I do have the data type errors where it is an error in interpreting the data type in Power BI and the resolution to this error is unique to the data source. So now proceeding further, uh, like while going with the data uh, related tasks there, you may have the errors like this. So as I have told you about the query timeout error is there where the hardware resource are being constrained by the concurrent users using the same data timeout expired indicates that you have pulled too much data according to your organization's policy uh, could not find data formatted as a table. It simply means that Power BI generally expects to find the data formatted as a table from Excel could not find file. This means that it is caused by the file moving locations for the permissions to the file changing and then data type errors where an error in interpreting the data type in Power BI and the resolution to this error is unique to the data source. Well, this list isn't exhaustive, but shows common errors which are encountered while going with your data. So we do have quick questions here. What type of import error might leave a column blank? If you remember yesterday when we have shared or we were get getting the data, from SQL Server or from the Excel. If you all remember this part when I go with the Excel. So in the Excel, it actually shows me two data here. So I can go for say 2020, something like that. And then uh, there I do have, let's go to the Power BI. Power BI, analyzing data with Power BI Master, Module 3, Demo Files, Module 3, Demo Files, Files for Import. And when I click on sales.xlsx, it will show you two files. One is what we call the sheet file. Another one is what we call the table file. So two files are going to be shown to you here. See that I do have a table as well and I do have the sheet as well. So you can use any one of them or you can choose any one of them. But yes, if you are purely using an Excel sheet, then it must have table. Same like uh, if I will open it with an explorer again within the explorer if I will go to the training data with 2020 of data here and then when I will go for Power BI or Power BI I will go for the master within the Power BI master I will go for all files module number uh, three demo files module three demo files for import and sales.xlsx. So for the sales.xlx, this is actually a table with name table one, right? This is with name table table one sales order ID sales person ID country and all which is already provided to this location. And by using that we will be able to utilize this information or you can utilize these data here. And then uh, these all are the details and they all are in a form of a table. If you will just select this one area or so you will select this whole stuff here. You will be able to find out like that. This is what we can call a table. It is actually a table format which I'm already using right here, right? And when you will go to this insert statement and all you will be able to add tables from there. And when you click on that whole stuff here uh, by selecting whatever data that I do have. So you will be able to check for this data operation. So it will consist of the page layout, the design. When I will go to the design, 
you can see it is showing me a design as table underscore one this is the design that we generally have here or this is the design which i'm using right now and by using this design i'm going to perform this particular task as well so now it is table one underscore one is the name of my table right and then i am just using this table for presenting or for the representation of my data here so that's the concept that i can have or i will be able to use while going with this data here and generally if you have say blank columns or null values or blank values all these values are uh, actually the one which actually leave the column blank if you want to uh, like uh, go with the data type like that and you don't have this data type options so you will be able to go with that operations so guys this was a cloud expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft power bi data and the certification for beginners under which you'll be learning about what is data analyst role how can companies benefit from all the data analysis you'll be learning about power bi desktop service and mobile as well we'll also be giving you hands-on labs so that you can perform well in your examination so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash pl3002 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now, select your event date according to your availability, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of URL. You just have to save that URL and add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the next class. Till then take care and keep learning.